First in Texas bond has been set for Wendell Lockney. That's the man accused of a drunk driving crash that killed nine year old Abby Douglas. And now Abby was laid to rest over the weekend. And now we are learning new details about Lockney's arrest. Investigators say there were open bottles of alcohol and marijuana in the car at the time of the crash and police say he was well over the legal limit at the time. Tonight, Abby's parents are hoping that Wendell Lockney sobers up so he can be clear about how big of a loss this is for their family. This is Abby's light, a tribute to the nine year old girl who lit up every room she entered and never met a stranger, even at the new school she started attending just weeks ago. She had been there maybe five weeks total due to quarantines and stuff, and they said she knew everybody to school already. Even the lunch lady came to her funeral. More than a week and a half ago, Abby and her mom were headed home from the store when their car was plowed into from behind. Mom Sarah blacked out for a moment and then worried for her daughter, who was in the back seat. Bystanders pulled her out and began compressions in the roadway. Abby wasn't breathing on her own. They they gave us the ability for her to donate her organs and us to spend some time with her. And say goodbye. Police say an intoxicated Wendell Lockney was behind the wheel of the other car. He's been charged with vehicular homicide. Bond has been set at $300,000. This family is hoping it's an amount he can't afford. That way he can't do this to somebody else uh, while he's waiting for trial because it's no comparison to the price this family has already had to pay. Now these flowers from her funeral are a reminder of a life not even at full bloom. Through organ donation, Abby will technically live on. Bloom, baby. But this family will never be made whole. I want him to realize what he's done mm -hmm. and truly take it in. I need him sober. I need him to acknowledge the loss. And tonight at 10, we will have more from the Douglas family and why it was so important for them to donate Abby's organs. Well, the case of a man.